Today we're going to be covering the backside 180. This video is going to be split into a few different parts. The first section of this video is going to be the tutorial. The next part is going to be practice drills. And the final part is going to be troubleshooting. We're going to start with foot placement. Personally, I like to keep my front foot like I do for an ollie, except maybe not on the board as much. Just put your front foot in a solid position where it feels comfortable. For the back foot, put it also similar to how you would for an ollie, except maybe more on the toe side corner of the tail. Your feet should look somewhat like this. Start the movement out by winding up your shoulders in the opposite direction that you're going to turn by opening up your leading shoulder. Release the tension and throw your shoulders backside as you begin to jump. If you can pop a solid ollie, your board should follow your hips and your shoulders in the rotation and you should turn backside. To avoid slipping out, keep your weight in your back foot whenever you land. It's a very strange feeling at first if you've never rotated while jumping on a skateboard. But if you focus on having a solid ollie while you're rotating your shoulders, the 180 should come naturally. When you first start learning 180s, front side or back side, they're not going to be fully developed yet. What I mean by that is that they're going to look something like this. While I'm getting all the way around, I'm not really doing an ollie solid enough to get over anything or up on top of anything. This is, however, a great way to practice getting all the way around for a good backside 180. I recommend practicing back 180s like this a lot before you actually try to level them out and do them higher up in the air. We have now reached the troubleshooting phase of this video. The first issue that we're going to cover is if you're slipping out. To solve this, just like I said earlier, make sure you're landing with your weight and your back foot otherwise the foot that you popped with. This helps keep your weight in the way that you're rolling. If you're not rotating enough, make sure that you're opening your shoulders forward and really swinging them backside. That way you can create the rotation. I don't think I ever really have the issue of rotating my shoulders too much, but if you are rotating too much, just take it easy on the rotation a little bit and don't widen your shoulders up as much. If your board is flipping, try having a wider stance and don't apply too much pressure on any point of the board whenever you're popping an ollie. If you already have backside 180s but you want to get them higher, try ollieing and then turning your board late in the air. It helps to have an obstacle like a board on its side, like that's shown in the video. If you like this video and you want to see more tutorials like it, check out my channel. If there's any other tricks you want to see covered, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to check out my social media for daily clips.